This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi and Don Dubuque. Paradise, Louisiana is presented by Rotolo's Pizzeria. Fresh ingredients, friendly service. That's just the way we Rotolo. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Pro Drive Outboards. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Cracker Barrel Convenience Stores. We have more than you expect. Always fresh, never frozen, Raising Canes. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. And by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana. Coming at you from Bayou Adventures in Lacombe. And uh, everybody knows who I am, Gary Rusponi. But a lot of people know who you are, too. We, we got a special guest, Mr. Forrest Green and Don. You've been in acquaintance with him a long time. Yeah, we've been knowing each other for quite a while. He's Mr. Lacombe when it comes to the fishing in this neck of the woods. But, Gary, before we get any further, people are wondering, you got to explain the situation with your, your eye there. What exactly? Well, Tell I, the story. I just want to get it straight. Number one is Don did not do it. As much as I would have liked to, no, I can't take credit for Don it. Don did not do it. A woman didn't do it. A woman's husband or boyfriend didn't do it. A fan did it. A fan. A fan. We're going to leave it at that and move on. No, I, I, I don't want to <laughs> leave it at that. It wasn't one of our fans. We ain't got that many. I don't know. You got a lot, but I don't know how many fans I got, but it wasn't that kind of fan, a fan of Paradise, Louisiana. It was a ceiling fan. Okay. So now I got to figure out why it came down when I was just trying to lower the speed of the fan. The fan of light hit me in the eye, and I, I want to shout out for Slidell Memorial Hospital. Dr. Cooper took, got me in and out in an hour, stitching, got home by midnight, got up the next day and covered the seminar and went fishing again Sunday. And it just looks bad. It don't feel too bad. I don't know. I think it's an improvement. <laughs> Enough talk about medical. Let's talk about fishing. That's what we're here for. And with us is the cover boy from this month's Louisiana Sportsman Magazine, Mr. Forrest Green. Forrest, it's really a pleasure to have you here. And uh, now that you're retired from your longtime job here in St. Tammany Parish, you've kind of become an ambassador here for Bayou Adventures oh, and much. trying to share your knowledge that you've spent how many years fishing in this area? Well, I've been in this area all my entire life. Um, I know every stump in the bayou. I know every shell in the lake. Um, pretty good at all that stuff I does. Uh, probably that's why I'm on the magazine at the moment. Um, I love, I love this area. There's no other place like this area, like, like, like Lacombe. I'm pretty sure other people will have a different outlook on that. But Lacombe is a beautiful place. Now, buy your gorgeous here. So many different things. We got fresh, we got salt, we got brackish, you got hunting, you got all types of fishing. It, and the scenic beauty, oak trees yeah. and marshes turn into piney woods. It's yeah. all right here. All, all the cypress, if you go north on the Bayou Lacombe, you're going to see the most beautiful cypress tree. If you go down south, you'll see most of the, the pretty marsh have turned beautiful green. The uh, alligators and the, and the eagles are all on the south end. I mean, it's just gorgeous in the morning uh, when you get up out there. A lot of time I fish every morning, but I don't go fishing every morning to catch fish every morning. I get up every morning to watch the sun rise out of the east, and it is one beautiful thing to look at. We're 67 years old. We always got to count them mornings we can get up and watch it, huh? especially when fans fall out the ceiling, huh? Yeah, but then what you do is, you, I, I take one day at a time, which we always got to take one day at a time, but I just get up in the morning and see the sun. Uh, when I wake up and I see the day breaking, I say, well, it's another great morning. Let me get up and go see the sunrise. So I just enjoy every day since I put them 30 years on my job. Uh, you know, so master, now I enjoy every day. The I try master's to enjoy still it. in control, boys. Right. Let me ask you this. All you in here, and you've been knowing dying. They've been hearing some bad things about it. Are you too scared to take the black cloud out, or would you rather challenge the black cloud? I rather challenge the black cloud. That's how good I think I am. I, I, Forrest, I can help you out. Forrest, be careful what you ask for. I, this might I, be your biggest challenge in your career here. Okay, well, I, I, I'm, I'm up to that challenge. Well, good. I'm we'll make that, that happen. Uh, Forrest, uh, you've been here all your life. I've been here most of my life, and we ain't leaving. A lot of people are coming here from out of area and discovering Bayou Lacombe. 
you are doing something here at Bayou Adventures every Thursday evening that can help people get accustomed and find out how to catch fish here. Right, that's what I want to do every Thursday from 5 o'clock to 6.30. Uh, out on even the reef right now, we have so many people coming here, getting on the reef, and uh, we, you know, Temple does fly out there. And I want to be able to talk to people about how to launch their boat around people, I be courteous to people. Because if you come on the water, then that's what you're on the water for. You're not on the water to bring all the, your, your job and your, you know, like they tell you at home, don't bring your home to the job. But whatever happened to you, you come out there to relax. So if someone asks you to come around and launch your boat, I mean, anchor your boat right here, be nice enough, put your pride on the side and say, okay, that's what I'm going to do. But then some people say, I know what I'm doing. Uh, they cut across the reef. And then now everybody messed up. So I want to talk to people about that to what, try to be courteous. What, what about some of them secrets? All it is, you put a bunch of them in the book, you're going to get some secrets out on Thursday? Yeah. I, I, what oh, bait, what uh, I catch that, around? That, they get all this information every Thursday. I mean, even uh, I'll set up days, somebody want to go see me do it or go catch them. Yes, they're going to get all my secrets. What's your favorite panfish bait? I know what your bait is out there. You had it in the book. What's your favorite panfish? When you're going pan fishing, you fishing Pearl River or the Comb, Bayou the Comb, you get a little ultra light. What, what's your favorite technique? What's your favorite bait? My, uh, believe this or not, I, I do think I'm a professional with all the artificial stuff, but I will get me a bucket of worms <laughs> and I'll get my ultra light. And I'm going to go today, and I'm going to catch me a bunch of brim. And that is my favorite fish. You sound like Dudley Vanderbilt. He makes baits, and he says when they bite on shrimp, he's going to bring out the biggest getting, shrimp, biggest croak. I'm getting my little earthworm. I don't care if I'm two years old. I could be walking down the road just shaking my little brim. But I'm going to get me some fried brim today. All right, you can catch him Thursday evenings here at Bayou Adventures in Lacombe, and you can uh, spend an afternoon with Mr. Green and learn all the secrets of Lacombe. Gary, I'm just coming back from Kansas, a very successful and enjoyable turkey trip up there. We got some of the highlights of that we're going to show you. You've been a busy guy last week, too. Been a busy guy. I also made a trip to Grand, to Grand Isle with uh, Tommy Vidrine at Sunshine Foundation and with the winners. They had won it at that big gala, and I came back, and we did a little thing with the seminar that went on, and uh, we judged a crawfish eating contest, or cooking contest, excuse me, we did a good job of eating it also. And, and it's, it's just so many, I tried to go out on the lake yesterday, uh, went too smart. Well, they had 300 boats Saturday with three boats Sunday morning, and my stupid butt was out there, my eye all black, huh? And that wasn't the only thing black, huh? the black clouds hood over me all day. Well, in case people are wondering what this is doing here, uh, Tito's, we're not starting a party right here at Bayou Adventures, not yet anyway. But uh, Benny Sanchez is going to be here, the director of the Tito's Vodka Redfish Series, and he's going to tell us all about that. we got the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report and our Flambeau Outdoor News segment all coming up from Bayou Adventures in Lacombe, where you're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Hey, I'm Mitch Rotolo, owner of Rotolo's Pizzeria. Our pizzas are prepared every day using the freshest ingredients. But Rotolo's has so much more to offer than just delicious pizza. We have an array of healthy salads and tasty wraps, a wide choice of pasta like spaghetti and chicken parmesan, zesty buffalo wings, and our selection of savory calzones. And don't forget to try one of our amazing desserts. Come into any of our local restaurants or check out our entire menu online at rotolos.com. That's just the way we Rotolo. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. The CCA Louisiana Star Tournament is doubling down this year. Double the tag redfish. Twice the trucks. Over half a million dollars of prizes awarded in more than 20 categories. Open to all ages, inshore and offshore, youth enter free. Don't let your chance to win swim away. Register at CCAStar.com or at any Academy Sports and Outdoors. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. 
coming back from a Kansas turkey trip. Well, what an enjoyable trip. What a great place, some great company. Went up there with Carl Beyer, who you know, and one of Carl and I's mutual friends, Drew Rosasco, who lives up in North Georgia, came with us, and more about him later. But turkey hunting in Kansas compared to Louisiana, even Mississippi, Alabama, it's quite a bit different. You're hunting on open terrain. There's not many places in Louisiana you can watch a turkey. Similar to Texas? It, kind of, it depends on what part. Texas is so big and got such varied habitat. Some of Texas is similar to Louisiana and others wide open spaces. But Kansas, you can call a bird from six or 700 yards away and watch that approach and really appreciate the hunt, which I did. And one of the unique things that happened, I had a big gobbler that was coming to my call. Two other birds that were not quite as big as him came out, went in, came out, went in, weren't really interested until they saw him making a beeline for my decoys. And when they saw that, they decided there's two of us and one of you, you are not going to get this. So they came in, they actually ran him off into the woods, out of the picture, and then they kept coming. So I decided to take one of those birds, good two-year-old bird, nine-inch beard, weighed over 20 pounds. Uh, tried to get his buddy. His buddy gobbled that. These birds didn't gobble at all. They just had strutting and coming in the whole time. I tried to get his buddy because in Kansas, not only can you, are you allowed two birds with tags, but you can shoot them both at the same time, same day, anytime you want. Hunting over bait is allowed. Uh, hunting of jakes is okay. And by the way, some of the jakes that our guys took were in the 18, 19 pound range. So they're good sized birds, even if they are young birds. But the real story, I got to meet Drew and, and hunt with Drew. Drew is legally blind. He doesn't have a driver's license. He's not allowed to drive but yet he doesn't let that get in his way of turkey hunting. And what he does is he uses binoculars. He's hunting them through a shotgun scope, but he's still got limitations. He can't hunt in the woods with shadows because he can't see that. He can't hunt facing the sun because you know what happens, glare coming through binoculars or a rifle or a shotgun scope. And he has a problem with field of depth. Everything he's looking at is magnified, so he can't really tell is it 45 yards, is it 25 yards? He's gotten, he's been doing it long enough he can adjust. Uh, he hunts by himself quite a bit on this trip. Uh, Carl tagged out, Carl got to hunt with him, Carl shot camera for me, and he captured one of the birds that Drew shot. He's coming inside the decoys, kill him here, he's 25 yards. Kill him. I don't care if you shoot my decoy. Shoot him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Drew had another close encounter of a beautiful bird, just couldn't quite get on it, and the bird ended up walking away and, and leaving him. So he didn't, and he refused to shoot Jake's. He passed up probably three or four good shots on Jake's, and he's just that much of a sportsman. He doesn't want to take them, so he only filled one of his tags, but Carl and I both got both of our tags. Really good hunt up there. Uh, had one bird that came in the decoys and gave us a real show, stayed in there for about an hour. I actually had a, a, a wild pheasant come walking in on my decoys. I was calling turkey and I attracted a pheasant. Uh, really a beautiful trip, good weather, good friends, and an enjoyable hunt. Now, we closed out in Louisiana this past weekend. It's over in Louisiana now for another year. Uh, a couple other guys, uh, some of our regular viewers, uh, Toby Cooper, and a fellow by the name of Leighton Page went out to Kentucky, and they were in Kentucky the same time I was in Kansas, and we were sending pictures back and forth. The birds we were getting, the birds they were getting, they had a really good hunt in Kentucky up in that area. So, and I know a lot of Louisiana guys closed out the season and shot some nice birds, and they some sent them, us some of their some pictures. Some of them were in Texas, and mm -hmm. uh, they all planned in a week or so to go to Nebraska. It's amazing how the seasons run later. I know Missouri runs later and all them ones in Kansas. When are they Kansas close? When does the Kansas season close? It goes all the way into May. May, okay. Cause and this so does July. Alabama. Yeah. You, Don, you didn't, you didn't kill another Hokie. You know, another real big Oh, no, 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 no. There may never be another uh, St. Hokie turkey. But they were good, healthy birds, and I was proud to get them. My, my good buddy, almost like a, a little brother to me, Wayne Amato, is sending me some pictures. Him and his son, Dean Amato and Justin, they caught, they went to Texas and, and killed, you know, it, 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 not holiday limit, but uh, they got a pitch, send me a picture with four turkeys there, all with 17 pounds. You know, y'all get a lot of big turkeys. I remember in Missouri, I, them are monster turkeys, they're yeah. big. But then these are good birds. 
you can see how pretty they are. The 10 inch bed and the inch and 3 16 spurs, which were pretty big. Now, Jacob Heath, with anything outdoors, send me some pictures and uh, they had their little cook off, a little deal that was going on. But he sent me a picture, it didn't have no name on it, but it looked like a young lady. I might have fenced somebody, but it was a big turkey. So here's a picture of him, and, that, and that's what I got done. And I was just waiting to see your footage. I, I, it's still going on. Well, I haven't got any video from any turkey hunters yet. Bowie Outfitters has still got a gift certificate waiting on you. We decide that we use it. Can so, I enter mine in? Nah, you would be, that'd be a conflict of interest. Huh? Yeah, I don't think the, the viewers Your would go That's okay. If it's That's any okay. good, I might uh, pay you. Though. You know, you I have to look. You'll see it. You'll you see know, it. You went going beyond the call of duty. You was on assignment. Right. And I missed you last week, too. All right, we come back after this break. We say goodbye to turkey hunting for Louisiana. Still goes on to Mississippi, Alabama, and other states for a couple more weeks. We'll be back to talk about the Tito Vodka's Redfish Series here on Paradise, Louisiana. Who doesn't want to save money on fuel? Now, Shell and the Fuel Rewards Network are putting you in control of how much you pay for fuel. Simply buy whatever's on your shopping list. Clothes, groceries, even dinner out. And earn cents per gallon savings at participating retailers nationwide. Now, fuel prices are in your hands. So why wait? Sign up at FuelRewards.com today and turn shopping power into saving power. Visit Cracker Barrel convenience stores before heading fishing or hunting. We have more than you expect. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change has been keeping cars and trucks in Baton Rouge clean and running smooth for over 50 years. At Benny's, we feature professional car washing, complete detailing, high-tech waxing and buffing, interior cleaning, and tire shine. Benny's, one stop for car maintenance with complete oil and lube services and even state inspections at our express locations. Visit one of our five convenient locations, including our newest store on Greenwell Springs Road. And don't forget to stop by Be Quick Convenience Store and Fuel Stop. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Drive in dirty, drive out clean. Welcome back to Lacombe with Bayou Adventures. Many senses. Redfish tour that you started back up, the Tito Handmade Vodka Redfish Series, took it over. You gotta be extremely excited. The first tournament which I had, 85, 90 something boats. 95 you, boats, Gary. And you're looking right now at pre-registration for the one coming up in May. We're, we're, just, we're close to it. We're close, not close to the 95, but close to where we were. So we're, everything's looking good. Yeah, so you still got time to register. Oh, absolutely. So somebody watching this right now, they still got time to get in there and join. And will they still have a chance to make the classic? Yes, absolutely. So um, we have until May 6th to join. You can still, um, it's not join, but you can sign up in the morning of the tournament if you want to. Our next tournament is in Hopedale, Louisiana. So we're excited about that just because it's a great venue, uh, Hopedale Marina. And uh, we're just we're really excited about what, what has happened and what's going to happen. So. Now, there's been some changes in the Hopedale area, call it, but it is the Hopedale Marina. Yes, it used now, to be the Brenton Sound Marina, right, but it is, right. it's Hopedale Marina now. Yes. Well, okay, now, let's talk about the last one. We didn't get a chance to get together. We got some video coming from uh, the last tournament in Coca Dree. Tell us a little bit about that Coca Dree and some of the winners and some of the things okay. that you were surprised at. Well, we were just surprised at the turnout. We just want to thank all the anglers and the sponsors and everybody that came out to support us. We had 95 boats, which was way well above, way beyond what we, what we had hoped for, anticipated. And it's just exciting to see that many people in Louisiana and from out of state to want to come fish these, this tournament. So we took over the Louisiana Saltwater Series um, when, they, when they shut it down. 
and that's how it kind of got started was in December. We were, and it was very quick. So January and February is all the time we had really in, in March. And April 1 was a tournament in Kokodri. 95 votes, $12,500 cash payout to the winners, um, Chad Harvey and Kerry Melanson. And we, we just, we had a great time. We had crawfish boils, we had, we had catering, we had all kinds of stuff. It was just a fantastic event. Good party. And then next one, it sounds going to be summer. You're going to have oh, a lot of food. And absolutely. We're, we're having tournament. a huge crawfish boil by Cito New Orleans and then Bosco's Italian Catering from Mandeville's coming down to cater it with their pastas. What, which one? Bosco's. What's the name of last of Italian? Bosco's Italian. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Boy, I might, that's a busy week, but I might have to do it. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be a dream day over there for St. Jude Hospital. But okay. Th look, let, let me tell you, you know, th this idea came because you fished a lot of tournaments and a lot of your same. We did. Sammy, your buddies in L.A. fished these tournaments. We're really sort of disappointed that it was going away because it, it was fairly popular. Yeah, we, uh, we absolutely loved what the state was doing with the Louisiana Saltwater Series. We've been um, on the trail for four years. Uh, we actually won Team of the Year one year. We've been, we were heavily invested in the Saltwater Series, and we were very disappointed, very saddened to see it go. And for Tito's to step up and want to put this on for us and for the, you know, for the anglers and for the state of Louisiana, we thought was huge and we're excited to have them as our title sponsor and, uh, and namesake of the tournament. So yes, it's... Well, I'm sure when, after the tournament here, we, you'll be back here and give us a little report, bring us some video and some of the winners. You mentioned one lady that did outstanding last month yep. in the tournament. Tell me, tell me a little bit about this well, we, we'd like Tito's would like to congratulate April Hroobs and Sean Hroobs for their um, big fish. They had a 10.61 pound slot redfish in the uh, Tito's series at Cocodry and they won uh, the, the $1,000 check provided by both Cito New Orleans and Matrix Shad. So that's, uh, that's exciting. We have so many different prizes that people can win. We've got small fish prize. We've got Blaine Prestonbach won the small fish prize. And then Captain Calvin Duval and, and Don Mail won the most spots. So, I mean, we have different most, categories. Most redfish tournaments, two fish. Yes. Two fish. Thank you. 27 inches, uh, under 27 inches. Yep. Tell me y'all's different. Y'all three fish, tell me how y'all did this. We are doing things very different. We um, just wanted to be a, a fun tournament, a different tournament, exciting tournament, and not just the same thing that has always happened. So we actually went into a three fish limit, two up to 28 inches, because Louisiana law, each angler can have one bull red over 27 inches in possession. And then we also have one less than 27 inches. So two 28s and one less than 27, and we're weighing all three fish. It's exciting. It's exciting. The top, the top 10 teams were all within, I think it was eight A lot eight of people tenths. have been making a mistake with some of the That's two fish. Yep. No, that ain't two fish. But y'all had so many nine and 10 pound fish under yeah. 27. Yes, we did. Was that, a, man, when you're getting 27 minutes fish at nine pounds, you do that's going, 18 pounds going to win a ton. <laughs> you're right. So We, uh, yeah, had a great time, but thank you so much. Here you uh, just tell everybody you're going to be back. Yeah, we will. We've got many tournaments coming up. May 6th in Hopedale. Sorry, I'm going to take over all the air, airwaves. June 23rd and 24th in Sweetwater Marina in Delacro. July 22nd is the season finale at Falgu Canal Marina. And October 6th and 7th is the championship where we'll give away over $50,000 in cash prizes to the top 10 teams. Hope to see you guys there. And look us up at Tito's Vodka Redfish Series.com. Thank you. By the way, I thank you, John Jackson. Everything y'all commercial is outstanding. Thank, thank you. you for that. Yeah, thank you, John. Gary, thank you so much. Thank you for letting Paradise Louisiana be part of it. So thank you. We'll be back later with more Paradise Louisiana. Ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. I'm Captain Wayne Mellorine, and you're watching Paradise, Louisiana.
thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. Save money on fuel. Now, Shell and the Fuel Rewards Network are putting you in control of how much you pay for fuel. Simply buy whatever's on your shopping list. Clothes, groceries, even dinner out. And earn cents per gallon savings at participating retailers nationwide. Now, fuel prices are in your hands. So why wait? Sign up at FuelRewards.com today and turn shopping power into saving power. Visit Cracker Barrel convenience stores before heading fishing or hunting. We have more than you expect. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and Gary, a very familiar name, nerd, heard on this show, Tommy Vadream. When you think of Grand Isle fishing, you think of Tommy, but also combined with the Sunshine Foundation. Tell us the connection. The Sunshine Foundation is an organization that started a long time ago. I think Governor Foster's wife started doing this. They have their galas of fundraiser. These ladies have do all these things and put all these things together. Not just ladies and guys too. It's for school books, for kindergarten, whether you private school, local school, home school, public school, whatever it is, kindergarten kids, they send out these books. It's sort of like get them ready, teach them about books, about reading and get them ready for school. So, and they raise this money and they give out awards uh, to some civic person, uh, the people, the, the Miss Taylor that it did tops. They did them with one of the years, and some of the military people that do things for education. So they have a gala, and then people go there and they spend a lot of money. And thanks to some of our guide friends, Tommy, one of them, Dudley, uh, Tofield, they've always donating trips to some of these functions that we belong to. And these two guys, now I don't want to get it, Robert Weiss and Brett Bond, they're two young guys. They got their own IT company, they work together. Both of them brilliant. Both of them like to fish. One come from Florida, never caught a redfish. Brett comes from Lake Charles area. And uh, he fished Hackberry coming up. They had a camp over there. He knew about the crabbing, he knew about fishing. Uh, Tommy Visbrain taught him something. And I taught Tommy something too. He said, let me stay on the camera and you guys go catch some fish, I quit <laughs> fishing. But, I did put the camera down. I didn't tell anybody to get on camera, but I, I did catch a few fish thanks to Tommy. Live shrimp was the secret, mm -hmm. but uh, Tommy picks up plastic. And by the way, in the fish report, I'm going to tell you more about Tommy and Vince Green we do them. I always tell him, some people, you know, fishermen are envious. They, they don't want to brag. But uh, let me tell you what, Tommy, back up. I like Muhammad Ali. It ain't brag if you can back it up. This is, again, bad wind. On the rocks, now, there's a lot of places you you heard too. And Grant, it wasn't rough Friday, right? But where we were at, it was it was pretty rough over the rocks, and it was all muddy. Time and went found clear water here when we went to full by. And here's the rest of the story. Here we are, time at Bid Ring. Thanks to Bridgeside Marina for giving accommodations, and uh, time at Bid Ring paid the bill. Right. Welcome to Paradise, Louisiana. We at Bridgeside Marina in Grand Isle, Louisiana and the trout been running pretty hot here. And uh, we're getting ready to get on the water and, and put those poles to work and hopefully catch a bunch of them. And it's all for the Sunshine Foundation. Figured we'd get away from all those boats. We had a little late start, so uh, we came east to Full Bayou Pass. I have friends of mine that have been catching them here. I hadn't come. Uh, it's got to be calm here, got to, to get some green water. It's, it gets rough. When it's rough, it muddies it all up. It's still a little muddy, but we're going to give it a shot. We made a long run. we got to put these guys on some fish. All right, Rob, this is, this is when we got shrimp that are medium size like this. No big ones last night. I like the big ones. I go through the horn, but when they're small like this, medium size, I go through the back of the tail. One, one notch over, pretty deep in there, so they don't come off when you sling it. And, and that way he stays alive longer. Because if you hit that spot in the head, they die right away. And gotcha. We like live shrimp. Trout like live shrimp. Is it ready for the boil? 
<laughs> I guess not. It's too not small. It's the medium, enough. not a not keeper. Quite big enough. All right. Little guy. Yeah, it's a keeper. Over here, over here, this way, this way, no, in the boat. Over the boat. <laughs> you flip him in the boat quick. That's okay. a keeper. 13 inch fish. We'll take that. Swing him into the boat. Don't get him too tight. That's it. Swing him in the boat. Swing him in the boat. Good try. Good job, buddy. Here you go. Here you go. Get him. Get him, move. Getting a little bigger. That's all in for lip. They're getting a little bigger. Tell me about hey. it, son. Yeah, Gary wanted to get on these birds, you know. I said, I, I don't like to catch small fish, but hey, on a day like today, after 20 mile an hour wind, we'll take him. Thank you, Lord. Four in a row. I'll take it. Let it buddy. The big one. Rouge-based IT company. Our company's name is IT Inspired. We started about four years ago. Uh, Brett and myself and another business partner. And uh, it's been an amazing ride. We, we handle a lot of small businesses all the way up to state and local government clients. And uh, we've been really having a good time, a good time with it. Much like fishing out here with you guys today. It's been pretty good. Uh, I grew up fishing down in Hackberry off of Dugas Landing. I've uh, been down there my whole life. My parents got a camp down there for years with my grandparents originally, so I've been fishing my whole life. First time down here in Grand Isle, having a great time, but I'm from the west side of the state. Well, I think we've been going to the Sunshine Foundation Gala, what, about two, three years yes, now? Yes, sir. Past yep. two or three. Mm -hmm. It's been an amazing organization and a great night to celebrate, you know, what they do for the kids and all the businesses and the charities that get together to support uh, what a great cause that we have going for us. And, you know, we wouldn't be here today without the Sunshine Gala. Uh, and the foundation that they put together this amazing trip for us. We got Gary out here and Tommy. Um, I mean, I don't know the last time you've been fishing, but to get to get the chance to fish on a Friday, to get the chance to do something good for the kids and for our community, it's a, it's a win-win across the board. So it's it's been an amazing ride, and, and it's been great to be a part of it. Right, we love. Now, since you're the intellectual in the bus, you tell me. Where them books go they give to them kindergarten kids? Uh, they give them to every uh, private school, uh, public school, homeschool kids. They all get it, the kindergarten kids. It's great to uh, you know support the cause. And Candace over at uh, Vivid Ain't got us involved in it. We love supporting the foundation. Some of the things we look for is that you know, if you got birds, they don't have to be diving all the time. If, they, if the seagulls, the white-headed ones and the black-headed ones, the real seagulls like this, if they landed on the water, it's a good sign that many times there's some good trout underneath them. Oh, there you go. I'll keep them. I'll keep them. Is it in there? First redfish. Where's that net? We want that in the sun. All right. Here we go. Now this is Paradise, Louisiana. Sight casting redfish in the Louisiana marsh is this exciting. Sure. To make it even more exciting, the Louisiana Redfish Series, partnered with Tito's Handmade Vodka, will add $10,000 to the first place team of each of this year's event, plus a $20,000 payoff to the grand champion. 
It all starts in April, so register your team now and come out to see the most exciting tournament series Louisiana has to offer. The Louisiana Redfish Series, partnered with Tito's Handmade Vodka. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change has been keeping cars and trucks in Baton Rouge clean and running smooth for over 50 years. At Benny's, we feature professional car washing, complete detailing, high-tech waxing and buffing, interior cleaning, and tire shine. Benny's, one stop for car maintenance with complete oil and lube services and even state inspections at our express locations. Visit one of our five convenient locations, including our newest store on Greenwell Springs Road. And don't forget to stop by Be Quick Convenience Store and Fuel Stop. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Drive in dirty, drive out clean. As members of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we've all got a job to do. And the more we work together, the more we save. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Welcome to the Flambeau Outdoor News segment. Gary, as if our coastline doesn't have enough problems with erosion from all the complications of saltwater intrusion and subsidence and oil company canals and the levying of the Mississippi River, two new threats are now out there. One is this insect, this, uh, they suspect it came from China or Japan, possibly uh, hitched a ride on a, a sea towing vessel, sea going vessel in Plaquemines Parish is now attacking the Rozo Canes. That is a very, very valuable commodity in our marsh. It holds the root base, it knocks down storm surge, and if we lose our rozo cane, so goes our marsh. And wildlife and Fisheries and the LSU Ag Center is trying to, f to find out ways they can combat it, but right now they're asking people to be extremely careful and do not transport either intentionally or accidentally any rozo canes from Plaquemin Parish to other parts of the state. Yeah, and, and is it called Plaquemites? Am I saying that right? Uh, you got it pretty close. Pretty, yeah. pretty close. And, and, uh, when we were down there making the tours of both the west side and east side of the river, and when we did that thing in Buras, I've seen examples of what where, where it was doing. It was eating them out. Right. And it, it's like, like you said, like a mite or a fungus. I didn't know what it was, but uh, they showed them get to be a serious problem. So. Well, one thing I can tell you, if you remember when we went down and covered uh, the Venice area doing the BP oil spill, how resilient those Rozo canes were. There were some that were dead. The oil was still sitting there. New shoots were already coming out. So I'm hoping these canes can come back and survive instead of just killing them and where they go away forever from this insect. So we'll keep you up to date on that. The other threat, uh, one of my radio listeners by the name of Jay that uh, has some property down in Myrtle Grove, right across from his camp, he sent me some pictures of the muskrat damage that's being done to the marsh. You know, we had a problem with the nutria doing the eat out, so they put a bounty on them using coastal restoration funds to give five and now six dollars per tail to cut them back. Well, what's happened now that the nutria are being uh, contained. Now we've got muskrats proliferating and a muskrat is a little different. They eat the three-cornered grass but at the same time they use other canes and grasses to build these big mounds and nests and again when you don't have that vegetation to hold that soil you know, there, you know another problem. How, how can you tell the difference? I, I can see when I see them I know the difference between a muskrat and a muskrat is way smaller. Right. But uh, in, uh, back in the old days for newts has got to be a problem. That, that was the trapper's main exactly. money. That not exactly. A, so, uh, but they're becoming a nuisance. Well, now, I guess look, at the, look at the pictures, and it's not just there in the Myrtle. Are they going to do I'm the same thing? It. Are they going to pay more for the skin? We don't or know. We, we don't know. I don't. They've only got so much money. All these tree huggers and all these people you know, don't want fur coats. The trappers can't do it, and I don't think they're going to be a food commodity where people are going to go out for an uh, open season and hunt them like some people do. It just don't sound too good, muskrat. No, it's like nutria. They got to come up with a name like they did raggle down for the nutria. Come up with a name for muskrat, and maybe people will go out and eat them. But I doubt it. So hopefully they we, they can contain the muskrats. It's a shame that the trappers. There's just not enough money. It's, it's cost prohibitive to go out there and trap muskrats for the little bit you get for the meat and for the hide. So maybe a muskrat tail will get a value. Corp, huh? 
But they kept, you know, that's coming. That's getting a little bit better. Yeah. We're going to bring Chef Peyoto back on pretty soon because yeah. uh, they're finding a market for them. And but I've seen the muskrats better. in Hopedale, Shell Beach, Delacro. They're making comebacks there, too. Anywhere they're cutting back on the nutria, the muskrat, they, they're, they're natural competitors for the same food source, which is three-cornered grass. And if you don't have one, you're going to have the other. If we got a biologist, a scientist, somebody out there, you got some ideas, just chip in. It's help. Just let us All right. know. Some other news. You got some events coming up. Well, they got one event. You know, what's been real popular is get outside and fish. And, you know, take me fishing. All these things the walleye fishing put out. They got one coming out now to get out to fish in Vidalia, Louisiana. It'll be Saturday, May 13th, a little in advance, so you know about it. They're going to be putting 600 pounds of catfish in these ponds at the William T. Polk City Park Pond in Vidalia. So just put that on your calendar. Don, I got, I got a Southwest Junior Bassmaster report. They had their, their spring tournament at, at Dry Run. Uh, they could fish out of Lake Breton and Spillway. Uh, I, my dad, had took first place 15 18. He had 18. He had 8.9 pounds. Uh, big bass was Brendan Seminole. We had 11 to 14. We had Jordan Sylvester at Baton Rouge at 15 pounds. Now, 15.02 pounds. The big bass was Jordan with a 3.64, and 7 to 10 was, was Evan Burris and Walker. He had 4.62 and only had three fish. Big Bass was Evan Burris with a 2.37. The adult was Jimmy Sylvester, Baton Rouge. By the way, I've been running those adults, but y'all ought to get a lot of praise for taking these kids and putting them in there. This thing is growing big. These high school tournaments are going on. It's just unbelievable. Uh, but Jimmy Sylvester won that. Uh, with 15.88 pounds, that's five fish, that's good anyway. His big bass was Larry Russian from Pride, Louisiana. And while we're talking about bass masters, we done passed it up. You saw the all look in the paper. We're going to be bringing you more. I think uh, Kate might be visiting us here right. on the show. Bass master, All-American. Kate and him made the, the state uh, team and uh, now, but they're glad that we got two kids from Louisiana made the Bass Masters All-America team, Kate Fortenberry from Perryville, Kobe Miller from Elma, Louisiana. Congratulations, guys, and hang in there. And we, we, I don't know where Elma, he might can come down, but I know we can get Kate over here. One last thing in the news, uh, you and I went and served as judges at the crawfish cook-off contest that was held at Seabrook Harbor and Marine over in New Orleans. It was in combination with a Wish to Fish fundraiser. They had a fish and tackle sale. You made some great buys. So when you hear one of these things everybody. coming up next time, you might want to make a, a visit there if you need some fish and tackle. And they had a great lineup of speakers for the seminar on fishing Lake Bourne and Lake Pontchartrain. We had some great lineup of speakers, but uh, but there are a lot of manufacturers. Dell, uh, Dell Gasport, y'all know he's one of the big mm -hmm. distributors in Louisiana, part of Mississippi, even right here in Slidell. But look, he's always there helping. They had some brand new items. They had some news items. They weren't a bunch of junk. I'm going to tell you what, but the prices were unbelievable. You go go to a garage sale, the rides, I, I know some guys that don't miss a garage sale. They start following their wives. They get more fishing tackle at a garage sale because women put these garage sales on. They'll give you, they'll give you golf clubs away. Yeah, they give guys, they a whole yeah, tackle junk. box. But I'm going to tell you what, it was, it was all for a good cause. Y'all know Wish to Fish one of our favorites. So Danica and them are always working. It's just amazing. CT brought all them captains together. We'll be right back with the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report on Paradise, Louisiana. Car Wash and Oil Change has been keeping cars and trucks in Baton Rouge clean and running smooth for over 50 years. At Benny's, we feature professional car washing, complete detailing, high-tech waxing and buffing, interior cleaning, and tire shine. Benny's, one stop for car maintenance with complete oil and loop services and even state inspections at our express locations. Visit one of our five convenient locations, including our newest store on Greenwell Springs Road. And don't forget to stop by Be Quick Convenience Store and Fuel Stop. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. 
Drive in dirty, drive out clean. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana! For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. I'm Mitch Rotolo, owner of Rotolo's Pizzeria. Our pizzas are prepared every day using the freshest ingredients. But Rotolo's has so much more to offer than just delicious pizza. We have an array of healthy salads and tasty wraps, a wide choice of pasta like spaghetti and chicken parmesan, zesty buffalo wings, and our selection of savory calzones. And don't forget to try one of our amazing desserts. Come into any of our local restaurants or check out our entire menu online at rotolos.com. That's just the way we Rotolo. Welcome to the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. And Gary, we did have a weather change. A late season front came in over the weekend, but thanks to your quick action, you got some updates on the back side of that front. So tell people what's happening fishing. Well, the front, most of them are the front side. Oh, okay. I know you're trying to say get people ready. You don't want to be like Joe Macaluso and he's writing a paper and somebody call him and change. Storm come in and they say, Joe, what? I got a report. Once you start and you just put it out there, don't blame us if the weather changed again because it changed on me, you know, and I went to Lake Ponce train. I'm fishing with my good buddy. Second time, I black clouded Ken Lambert, by the way. He limited out five straight days that the trips out there. And then last week and a half, five days at the trussel, limited out fresh shrimp down on the bottom, drop shotting my, my, my grandson, my son-in-law, and, and, and my daughter, they went out there and they caught a few. They had 300 boats there, and then you see what happened. I, I go out there. I have never walled waves coming over the front. Even in big anchors, chains on it, wouldn't on the hole. Uh, why I went, I don't know, because I was sitting around there, and I should have went to church like I normally do and didn't do it. But the rest of the reports are good. Black Lake, all during last week, Black Lake around Lake Charles, and then my, they were at my brother's camp in Lake Charles, uh, my daughter, Dawn and, and my son-in-law, they were fishing with a guide over there in Black Lake. They had two days, good fish, had big fish, had trout, redfish, drum, sheep, ed, flounder. They had a mix of a bunch of fish. Had a good trip. Coca Dre, uh, Neil, little Neil Scott, fishing with his, his daddy and his papa, fishing live shrimp, caught his first fish, redfish, and he's showing them all up. Lee Bill again, getting Every day I'm getting reports from Captain George Phoebe fishing different, different places. That's high water charters. Live shrimp is still the bait. He's fishing in uh, Jack Campbell Bay. Uh, he's fishing under a cork again in Little Lake. Uh, Crystal Jordan and I guess it's his wife, Jennifer Phoebe. They had another good catch over that in that area. Grand Isle, Tommy Bidreen. After I went with him, he's fishing. He said, ain't fishing next day. It might not be bad. He called me a lie. He said he went up by himself. He went and found that clear water in the barges. He was free line shrimp again. Caught some, some good fish. Caught a few on plastic. Took his wife, Joe Lynn. They went back out there the next day and caught him again. They had, they had some live crocus and fishing a little bit different, but still, time is real big right now on the shrimp. The crocus, by the way, when I was at bugging him, already getting in crocus. The morning I, when we, before we left, uh, Bozo and them was out there and they, they were showing me had some, a little bit smaller, they, but still perfect sized crocus. So if you want crocus now, the Bridgeside Marina, I know, still got them, so does Butch down at the end of the island. Uh, Fouchon, uh, when I was telling you, Philo, if you're fishing just the rocks and commonality, it's been muddy, certain parts of the island, 
And like he ran, he ran east, but this time he ran to Fushong, and the first of these barges and rocks, you know how they put rocks around their barges, they were muddy. He go behind them, he go in front of them, and pretty soon he find that green water, and that's where they at. That they be congregated in one area. Uh, Don, you go ahead and tell me you you ain't got nothing. And let me read and make sure I don't mess up something. Else. Well, the only thing I want to add, I want to show you these pictures, recent pictures of Captain Tofield Bourgeois' fly-out trips to the island. Some gorgeous speckled trout, and he said, finally, finally, he got them to come up and start hitting top waters, which usually you can do out there. They're out there early, but they're hitting the top waters a little late. Also picking up some beautiful redfish out there, too. That's Captain Tofield Bourgeois, NewOrleansFishingCharters.com. I'm a, you, you met him the other day, and you've been knowing him a while. Ronnie and the host. Let me, let me tell you about Ronnie and Del Lagos. He's doing his best to get out there. He said the only thing chaps him Saturday when they had, uh, Friday and Saturday when all those boats were fishing the trussle and going all over, some of them parking lots were full and have room. He has place available. You ought to go see. He's remodeling that. He's doing a real good job. He'll put you on fish. He'll tell you where he's getting reports. He got bait. So uh, send Ron in. Do him a favor. If you don't want to like big crowds, you start out. Now, sometimes he says he, you know, he's loaded, but when, they, when they're biting right there close to the south shore. But go see Ronnie in the host. He sent me some pictures. Still, again, he don't do a good job of putting the people's names on there. You're going to get better, Ronnie. I'm going to quit showing him. Good job, Ronnie. Nice to meet you the other day, Saturday. But I got a bluefin. You get that bluefin tuna pitcher? No, I, don't I know did who not. Caught it. No. Come, out of the, come out of the Gulf, 835 pounds. Somebody sent it to me. They didn't have no name in it. Oh, stand by. Jody Dunmore sitting over there at Delta Marine out of Empire. He's fishing him live shrimp on the court. He, he got to hunt him sometime, but when he gets on him, he's finding that clear water. You remember Ryan Lambert told him the same thing. We have been catching them on the west side. They finding them old islands or where they were doing it, finding them old pilings, live shrimp. Made a believe out of Chris Macaluso. You saw the show last week. Made Chris put them the plastics up quick. You know, Chris is a good fisherman. He got a lot of confidence in what he did. Bunch of train down. The story is the still the trussle. They're catching some uh, on the twin spans, but right now, the trussle and people are getting downside of the, uh, where it's running, putting their anchors down, make sure you anchor. Oh, be kind of this. Drop shot and Carolina rig at the bell. The they took my friends out, Ralph Campanile and his son in law. Uh, they were fishing the trussle. They had they had that 75, they caught 68. They could have limited out easy. The boys had to go catch a plane to go out, go back out of, to uh, Alabama or uh, Georgia, wherever he's from. So that, that's it, uh, Don. Now, I got fresh water whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Let's hear it. You ready to go? Okay. Fresh water. Taylor Bernard. Crickets. You know where Pat's Bay is? Mm-hmm. Guy got out of brim and all of them. They're going back now in Pat's Bay. The water, everybody talking about being high. You heard about the tournament over there. A lot of those fish came from the Verrett side. But uh, there's still reports of people catching fish over there. Drew Hart was fishing a, a forest park. I showed his picture, but I didn't show enough of it. But uh, Drew Hart got a, uh, he caught his first bass, and then he caught another big bass over there. Drew, congratulations, keeps in him. Mark Navo, Bayou Bufaka. You call Bonif- us, Bonif- Bonif- we'll take that. We'll Bonif- take Bonifuca, Bonifuca, oh, whatever, Lacombe, coming right here. He's over here at Bayou Adventures, and uh, he been here. He didn't have that good a trip, but he caught some fish, and he said, I just want y'all to know, that he says, you know, I'm not lying to you. When I have a bad trip, I, I can tell you, I don't know why it was bad. He said he thinks it was all that rain. We had a little shot of rain. Indian Creek, you ain't heard a lot of them. James H. Snyder was over there catching fish on the bed. They were spawning using a Senko, and they would come up and try to move it. He'd get hooking a few. Again, Roy Alamo sent that beautiful, beautiful catfish. And he said, got chewed out, he forgot of me. I said 84 fish, I mean 44 fish, it was 84 fish in that big catfish. And only eight of them were brim. There were a lot of mullets in there, and shad, shiners. It was just amazing that that fish, he weighed 39 pounds. But still, you seen how big, how did it hold 84 smaller fish? Unbelievable. Why he still want to eat, Don? Is he like me? Maybe just want to get to eat? Steve Fontana and Gene Andre, uh, send me a few pictures. Uh, 
I'm gonna make sure you got it crisp, but uh, they, they fished a down tournament and won it with 15 pounds. All right, that's it? That's it. All right, we just want to remind you, send your pictures, your reports in to Gary at Paradise, Louisiana, comments, suggestions, tell you who you are, where you are, and uh, always remember to take those pictures if you're using your cell phone from a horizontal angle rather than a vertical because they'll fit the screen better. Hope you'll tune in again next week. Want to thank the folks here at Bayou Adventures for hosting our weekly program. Tune in next week to see if Gary's other eye matches the one he's got here. And we'll I'm be back with go Paradise, use... Louisiana. I'm getting ready to go eat some spaghetti. Paradise, Louisiana is presented by Rotolo's Pizzeria. Fresh ingredients, friendly service. That's just the way we Rotolo. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Pro Drive Outboards. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Cracker Barrel Convenience Stores. We have more than you expect. Always fresh, never frozen, raising canes. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. And by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament.